Okie dokie. Artichokey. What do we got here? Time Spiral. Wasteland. Novice Inspector. I feel like it's just Time Spiral here. That card's really good. You ever cast a Time Spiral? Fury would be my second pick, but I don't think it's that close. I'm just going to take Time Spiral here. Who doesn't want to draw seven cards, you know? And if we can find a way to prevent our opponent from doing the same, then it's good times. Four to five dentists agree you should at least floss after eating Mexican. I wonder who the fifth dentist is and why they don't agree, you know? What do we got here? Jace? Genesis Engine, your favorite and mine. Or just mine. That's fine. I accept that. Shallow Grave, Delayed Blast, Fireball, I don't think is that good. Uh, is it just Genesis Engine? Could be. Very well, could be. Could be Talisman as well. I just think Genesis Engine is fantastic. Underground Sea. Ah, memory Lapse is probably strong enough to take here. I like Memory Lapse a lot, actually. Yeah, we'll take a Memory Lapse. I think it's... I think it's better than Random Underground Sea. We took that last time. It didn't go great for us. I could take Colonnade here. I like Borrower, but... I'm okay with being able to play all our spells here. Could also just be blue-white. Um, hello, Dr. Nick. I do like a Thopter Foundry. We could possibly find a sword. We're never able to find the sword. But, nevertheless, this also makes one ones. For a sword, if we do end up getting a sword. I'm going to go in. It's early enough to take Thopter Foundry. It's in our exact colors. It's an infinite combo over time. You know. Lots of positives. Okay, we got a Giver of Runes and basically nothing else that we would want to take here. Lotus Petal might be fine. I mean, Lotus Petal is actually pretty good. It ramps us Genesis Engine one turn sooner. Also, both Welder and Scrap Savant. That's interesting. Steam Vents could potentially come back. Yeah, I'm going to take the Welder. I think it's just a higher upside. And Engineer. That's interesting. Engineer also gets us the combo pieces if we find them. Huh. There's also just Council's Judgment, which is great. Staff is good with both Thopter and Genesis Engine. I think it's one of these two. I think Council's Judgment is just too good as a removal spell. We also have a lot of card advantage here with these two guys. So, not super concerned with that. Alright, this should be the last card. I guess we'll just take... Actually, I do like Blade Splicer. 
Yeah, I think Blade Splicer is pretty good for us. I don't really care about this chase too much. Oh, what up, Oral? Elspeth. I do like an Elspeth. Could also take Bivouac, but I think Elspeth is just a better card. This is also a deck that's looking like it wants a Skull Clamp as well. So far we have Blade Splicer, Genesis Engine, Elspeth, Thopter Foundry. All these cards are great with a, with a Skull Clamp. Batter Skull. Batter Skull is nice if we hit a Stoneforge. Path is just Path, though. I think we're just taking Path here. I'll give you one guess what I'm working on right now. He's definitely painting Warhammer 40k miniatures. Did I have to say miniatures? What's the what's the correct parlance for? Figs? What do you guys say? I'm building minis. <laughs> okay. What did I say? Did I say minis? What did I say? Miniatures? Figures? Shit. Oh yes, minotaurs. Some 40k minotaurs. My favorite of the minotaurs. Okay, nothing great here. Research desk? Mm. Sure, it's an artifact. Shadow Spear? I accept. Cathar Commando seems fine. Absolutely no reason to dive into black. Oh, Goblin Engineer came back. That's interesting. And a research desk is red. So if we end up playing some red cards. Oh, there's your boy. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have the combo. Now all we need is a Stoneforge Mystic. So we can get Spear or sword just making sure there's nothing I mean if Palantir or Time Warp come back I'll be grateful but yeah that's pretty sweet that's nice that's what we want that's what that's what father likes The good times, the bad times. This is also shaping up to possibly be a decent um, Talarian Academy deck. I <sighs> don't really care about Watery Grave. I will take a Ponder, though. Portable Hole is neat. Prismatic Ending is not great in a 2-3 to three color deck. Wrath is likely coming back. Ponder is... Oh, there's the Stone Forge. Oh, that's the sickness. Now all we want is Cauldra complete. And then we've fulfilled the prophecy. Nice. This deck's looking pretty sweet. Retrofitter Foundry. I do like that. Also, Echo of Eons. Does that do anything for us? Not really. I think this is just an easy retrofitter. It's just another outlet for making, for getting our sword back as well. Yeah, seems easy. I would also pick up a Trinket Mage because now we have multiple targets for it. Or an Urza Saga. Both of those are pretty good. Another blue-white land would also be nice. Lauren is pretty good, though. I will definitely take a Lauren. I like a good upgraded Reclamation Sage. Oh, True Name Nemesis? There is a Trinket Mage, but I think True Name is a little bit better than Trinky. Especially when we have equipment. 
Put a shadow spear on that guy. See what happens. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. This is also only pack two. And we have these guys. We could put put engineer and uh, search out the sword and put it in the graveyard. Put a bird on it. How do you like that noise? I don't know what that even means. I know what put a bird on it means. I just felt like you got really aggressive in the second half, you know? Uh, I think Apparition is better than Talisman here. It's just a very strong gentleman. I just asked for feedback. Oh, fair. Fair enough. Thank you. Oh, if it isn't the undreamt tuna herself. Someone will dream you one day, I bet. I have a good feeling about it. That's all you want, just one time. I believe in you. Where is the next pack? Let's go. Any day now. Any day now. It's really... Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. Uh, I think it's Vista here. I don't love an Ugin. Show and tell could be good. Selfless Spirit's fine but not exciting i think the fixing here is probably best for us flash is good we just don't have anything to flash yet i don't think anything here came back that we actually wanted that's unfortunate white red talisman eh, i think i'd rather just have fallen shinobi black is just as easy to splash as red here so i was sending you Adeptus Mechanicus Steampunk Dudes 20 Skitari Rangers, a Skitari Marshal, and a Tech Priest Dominus. It's probably a few hundred points in a light to learn. That sounds amazing. Oral, I appreciate you, buddy. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think it'll be fun figuring it out. Let's get a Tezzeret, I guess. Uh, okay, we'll take this guy. Got a couple of good black cards here. Seems fine. <sighs> oh, Shattered Sanctum. That does make our Fallen Shinobi splash a little bit easier. Yeah, sure, I'll take a last pick. Second to last pick, unexpectedly absent. All right, we only need four cards if we play this Tezzeret, but Tezzeret can also find the combo, which just makes him a little bit stronger than he normally might be. When you get into printing and painting terrain, I will buy them off you for my D&D campaign. <laughs> Look, my business is already, it's already forming. Oh, a Mox Emerald, huh? Well, that's not the best Mox that you could have offered to us. But it is a Mox. And as such, I will play it. Yes. I accept your your Mox offering. Oh, Hull Breacher? When we got Time Spiral already? Yes, sir. Three bags full. You guys know that one? Anyway. 
one good merfolk deserves another, right? These are the two most oppressive merfolk in the cube. Is Emery a merfolk? Because that would make there another another merfolk that is not as oppressive. Yeah, it's a merfolk wizard. Good for her. What is this? Legolas's quick reflexes? I think I've seen this before. I think I just forgot. I just forgot that I saw it, you know? Okay. Well, I would love a hollowed fountain or tundra. Malcolm is nice. Gives us some loots. Fairy Mastermind is nice. Preordain is just fantastic. We only have seven creatures. I do think I just want another creature here, though. I think I do like Malcolm more than Fairy Mastermind. I don't know if that's correct. I think it is. Oh, Misty Rainforest is good if we happen to get a fetch. I don't think I, I don't think I want Thalia. We already have Path. I don't think I need wins. I think we're gonna take Misty in the hopes that we get a Tundra or a Hollowed Fountain, which I don't feel like they should be in big in big competition. I don't think there should be a ton of contention for them, but what do I know? Would you put Malcolm in the middle of one and ten rank? Yeah, I'd put him in the middle. Sure. Maybe a little bit higher though. Higher than the middle. Malcolm higher than the middle. I do like Guardian Scale Lord. It gets back so many cards in our deck. And we don't have a ton of top end right now. Sure. That seems like a, a solid playable dragon. I'll send you a Radimus Tranium with 30 Rat Conductors and one Sergeant Schmidlebop. Not sure how many points it is, but it makes a mean Sarsaparilla. Wow. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the red train? <laughs> well, it wasn't, uh, Tom, I don't think it was as subtle as you thought it might have been. It was very, it was very, it was right there, you know. This is 22, and I think I'd play everything so far. Where is my dual land? I don't care about Spellseeker because you don't have Ancestral or Time Walk. Those are the big ones. It also can't get any of our combo pieces. Phantasm Woman is cute. Glimmer Lens is neat. I think we just take Containment Priest because I think it's a really solid sideboard card. Come on, Misty. Do us some do us some favors, you know. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. I guess we're just taking Leggy Shreddy, which is playable. Man, Tropical Island. See, it's funny because if this was a Savannah, it would actually turn on Misty Rainforest and make it a blue-white land, but now it's not. Thieving Skydiver is nice. So is Sarah Paragon. Not persecuted for my terrible jet. No, no, you're totally welcome here. Bring all your terrible jokes. Super Fritz has been doing it for years. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. <laughs> Uh, I also do like a Sarah Paragon. I'm going to take the Paragon over the Skydiver. I don't know if that's correct, but it feels okay. Dress Down was kind of a beating when it was played against us. I don't think we're Wrathing in our main deck here. The only other option is still Seraph, which I think is good. I think Dress Down is a little cuter. Look at that little cutie. See, right now we could have Misty, Tropical Island, Prismatic Vista, and a Talisman for a green card, but there is no green card. So now we just have Colonnade and Vista for our splash. Oh, we'd also have Mox Emerald. Yeah, if we had some sort of, some sort of green splash here, it would be very rewarded. I'll take Snap. Maybe we just splash for Legolas's Crook Reflexes. Just kidding. Oh, wins. Uh, so all the cards we even considered came back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooze. Astral. Ooze Astral. Uh, Glimmer. Dress down. Three more cuts, huh? Fascinating. Oh, 
man, why do we call him Steve? It doesn't make any sense. It's such nonsense. It tilts it tilts my my neurodivergent brain. You know, my jokes are consistently B plus. I I 100% agree. I think your your jokes are fantastic. Get a better brain. <laughs> Uh, you don't want that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what I'm counting for. I'm just mostly going through these and saying things out loud. Wins is a good sideboard card to have. So is Wrath. I don't think I care about Snap. I don't mind Thraben Inspector, but is it better than... We also did not get... Like a cauldron complete, which is unfortunate. Stoneforge does have two targets, which I like though. I don't want to cut one of the targets. There's just so many times where I have Snapcast or uh, Stoneforge in like one target, and then you just draw the target, and you're like, okay, cool, I have a one-two. Especially if it's a cheap target, where you're like, I could just cast this. One of the things is like, if you draw a cauldron complete, and then you play Stoneforge, and you can't find anything, you still get to put it into play for cheap. But when you're when your target's like a Jitte, it's like, well, I could just cast this. Big Tez is kind of meh. I don't disagree with you. It does get our sword or our Thopter Foundry, so it kind of just turns our combo online, but I don't think we need to rely on that. Yeah, I think I like this. I don't think I care about Misty Rainforest. Like, we don't have a ton of ways to shuffle. We could get it back with Sarah Paragon, though. That might make it worth it. And we're definitely going to have enough islands to make it worth it, so. Four, 13 lands? Nope, don't need that. What are you doing? Why aren't you moving? Oh, I had those clicking the wrong, the wrong border. Oops. So this is actually 7-7, seven, seven, I believe, right? Because we have Misty is just blue. We have a lot more white. I might go to 8-6, which is actually 9-7, which is actually 10-8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that seems better. Like, we only have two double blue cards in True Name and Time Spiral. We have a ton of double white cards. We also have turn one white cards, so. So now we have blue sources, white sources. Yeah, two more white sources seems fine. And then we can even say these are just blue sources. So then it is even. It is even, you know. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> not the most aggressive hand. Tempted to ship it. Hmm. I think we mulligan this hand. We're on the draw. This does seem better. And we can pitch the Misty. Yeah, this seems good. Keep pitch this guy. This is a turn one stone forge, which is pretty good. I guess I just assume we get sword. Even though it's like mostly only applicable when you have Thopter Foundry, whereas like Shadow Spear is just a better general equipment. I'll give I'll give him a U2. We'll see if I'm actually gonna have fun. We'll see. Could go either way. Yeah, let me draw the card though. Apple gave everyone you too. What is, I know that's in response to something that was said, but. Because I said you too? Wow. Wow. That was a very, that sounds like such a Ralph Wiggum thing to say. Apple gave everyone you too. Haha, uh -huh. I'm in danger. What 
are they doing? Are you going to daze my mocks? No. Maybe. Still could be a maybe. Oh, baby. Yeah, let's just get Sword of the Meekles, because next time we can go Sword into Ponder. And we can keep one on top and then crack the Vista to get rid of the rest. Hmm. All right. Let's go Ponderini. Um, so... One, two, three. No shuffle. Grab that. Play this guy. And yeah, we'll just attack. Everybody's got tutors. Everybody's got... One power tutors. Demonic tutor. Multiple tutors. Tutors for everyone. Okay, we drew that. We know the next card is a planes. So, I don't really want to play any of these. I guess we can play this and then just equip. Not super exciting, but that's okay. We're just going to go get a planes from this Prismatic Vista. Again, the only double blue cards are Time Spiral and True Name Nemesis. Whole Royal Family, solid reference. Solid tutor reference. What do you think they got? Could be anything, even a boat. True name nemesis watch. Oh, that's pretty good. I do like that, gentlemen. Well, we're just passing with Hull Breacher up. Man, if they want to... Man, I'd be sick if they Ancestral Recalled here. Just do it. I mean, I feel like getting an Ancestral Recall off of a Demonic Tutor is a pretty... Pretty common play. All of my things need good targets. Flash. Yep. That's a thing. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're having a good time. Oh, Lord. Well. That sure is a thing, isn't it? Emperor Palpatine saying do it would be pretty good. That's a solid reference. Yeah, I guess we take care of one of them. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Not Trample, huh? Well, see you later. Oh, boy. I don't love this. I'm surprised they didn't... Why didn't they block this? I just have to play this now. I can't, like... Memory lapse. <laughs> That's... Are we just dead here? I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Oh, boy. Frank is, in fact, in danger. They're cracking it. <sighs> Boy. All right, we're at 15. That's basically... 
all their life points, you know? Life points? You guys call them that? What are your life points at? Dak Faden, huh? And you still have a blue and a red? Well, that's pretty good. Let me guess, you steal the Shadow Spear? Yeah, that's pretty good. I would like to formally announce my concession. <laughs> I would like it a lot better if they try to draw cards off deck, off deck fade in there. Yep, that's going to do it. I would love to have seen my next card. I was very curious if uh, if we had something there. I don't think we would have. If a non-token creature... Eh, actually, Containment Priest is nice. I don't want to. I don't want to wrath here. I think outside of like, maybe. I mean, like outside of their flash, like it's just not as good. Plus, like I feel like we're gonna be the big losers there if we wrath. Who's the big loser here today? I mean, we could also. I think dress down is better than wrath. Yeah, I like that actually. Take out Memory Lapse. I don't think they have a ton of targets for Skyclave Apparition, awkwardly enough. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Man, I felt like that last... I felt like that last deck, uh, that last hand was very good. At least both of my two drops have flash. That's kind of cool. Cook all. Well... If they have flash here and they just flash in something, I think we're pretty much dead. Okay. We got a little reprieve. Crack that Misty for Aspara's headquarters. Oh no. Okay, good. All right. Well, we've seen four colors out of their deck. Uh, have we seen green? We saw we saw World Spine Worm, but we didn't see any. I guess there's a Copper Line Gorge. Dak Faden. That's very risky when you have when I have. Interesting. Uh, you have no chance to path uh, World Spine Worm. You have you don't have any chance to path a creature while f um, Flash is resolving. Mm, that's pretty good, especially with the planes in the graveyard. Deck, deck, your face. Oh, I like a Genesis engine. I think we just go to path here, to be honest. All right, you got a little opening here. Do it. Mm Okay, we're just connecting here. Feels good. Oh, a time spiral. 
Do we think they have a wrath effect? Uh, I don't think it matters because we get to play this. Oh, they're just going to counter this? Wow. Sure. And then we were going to play a land <laughs> out of the graveyard and then activate Genesis Engine. That is unfortunate that they get four free mana. Don't love it. Sure. That's not terrible for us. Until they kill Paragon. Make it a make it an elk. Yep, that seems good. That's still not bad. Oh, Containment Priest. That's pretty good. I think we're just pitching this Time Spiral here. Attack your face. Uh, I do want to keep Council's Judgment. I want to pitch the Foundry. Uh, cast the Discarded Guard? Okay. Should have cast Elspeth, I guess. I didn't realize he had that many counters on him. Good grief. I assume they're going to trade us... Actually, they don't have an artifact, do they? Oh, it's Artifact or Creature. They're probably going to trade a Zombie Token for Shurokai, but then I think they just die. Yeah, all right. I mean, we have a lot of passive victory there. Elspeth floats any of these guys, plus the two from here. Um, we had Colonnade. Skyclave is pretty good against some of the things we saw there. Specifically, Oko. I do like a Skyclave. <sighs> Take out Splicer? Eh, it's not terrible. I kind of just want to take out Time Spiral, to be quite honest. Eh, it's, it's so good, though. It's really mostly good if, with Hull Breacher, right? Like, I'm fine with no Time Spiral. Our deck is a little lower to the... Lower in the curve. Oh, yeah, this is good. Can't turn one Thraby, baby. Have you seen the Vol teaser trailer coming to Amazon Prime? Yes, multiple times. I am very up to date on the the Amazon news, the the Fallout trailer news rather. Um, so this is interesting. We could play Malcolm here. I think I want to hit with Malcolm more than I want to hit with Ledger Shredder, and we still get to go Ledger Shredder into Thraben Inspector next turn. So we still get to trigger the Knive. This just gets us more looks at cards. Motherfuck. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that's actually fine, I think. I, I think that's not as bad as it could have been. Tribal Flames. Fascinating. Yeah, that doesn't win you the game. That just draws you a bunch of cards, and like you already have five cards in your hand as of next turn, so... I mean, this is going to be like draw five, I think. There's definitely land, creature, sorcery, planeswalker. Kaito, Spellseeker, Brutality, Island. So, no, no, no. Kaito. 
So they drew four. But they got rid of Atraxa and Flash, right? So it's like... That is interesting. Yeah, so yeah, you, well, they net two, like, right? So it's like, it's like playing, it's like playing Memory Deluge. Look at the top seven, keep two of them. Sure, you got it. Yield until the end step. White, white source. Can I get a white source? The answer was no. I mean, I'm just attacking their face here because I don't think it's... There it is. There's your boy. Easy pitch on sword. Yep, that's what we were hoping for. So next turn we can go Ledger into Thraben Inspector. And then we get to Connive. They're going to exhume here. That's going to be... Ah, uh, we have Path. I guess they're going to get the look again. Oh, they could also just collect a Brutality. Yeah, that seems fine. Sure. Now they exhume. But then we get our guy back, so that seems good. But they did get our path. Oh, they're just taking seven. Seems good. Yep, hitting our path here was pretty brutal. All right, so they know this is gone. They pitched island, it looks like. Yep, that's annoying. Path being gone makes it really hard to deal with this attracts, I think. Unless we just top deck a uh, council's judgment, which would be fantastic. They choose Carnosaur, Virtue, Tutor, Dak, and Spellbomb. So not you, not Rankle. Demonic Tutor, yes. Virtue of Persistence, yes. Spellbomb, yes. Animate Dead, no. Did they, not, they didn't choose a land? Okay. Kaito, they discarded. Spell Secret, they discarded. Hard Evidence. So they have Trumpeting, Dak, One, two, three, four, five. How do I only see five? I guess you just have two cards that you either drew or something else. Yeah, that's not that's not what we want to see. Oh boy. Well Yeah. Fucking attracts is obnoxious. God, that's frustrating. I don't think we have any more one mana cards that are white. Turn to game. No, change the deck. Let's see what we got here. We have Thraben, Shadow Spear, Ponder. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. I mean, we literally put in both Dress Down and Containment Priest, and we've seen neither of them, so that's unfortunate. Let's go Leggy, the Raven, another land, Pitch Island, get a clue, play plans. Yeah, it's kind of hard to race. Demonic Tutor, no, just Virtue of Persistence, sure. I guess you still have Demonic Tutor. Yep, no blocks. Spell bomb. You got it. That's not going to do it. And it has vigilance. Hooray! Council's Judgment's got to be the hit for us.
cool <laughs> every fucking game. <laughs> oh, it never fails, huh? Seems good. Not sure how you lose here with Demonic Tutor. Great. Yeah, fantastic. Fun matches. All right. Great times. Oral, have a good night, buddy. All right, let's try again. I mean, if I could have drawn our combo at any any point during the game, that would have been great. Unfortunately, uh, only our opponents get the combo, apparently. I will keep this hand. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, we're definitely just playing Vista here and pondering, I believe. I don't love having to crack this first, but... Actually, that's not bad. Um, I don't think I care about the spear here, but then again, it's a red deck, so... I think we're just going to keep... Keep Malcolm on top. No shuffle. Draw Malcolm. And then next turn we have a blue for true name. That seems fine. You got it. Uh, yeah, get in there. <laughs> no trades? Deal. Sounds good. Preacher McMeacher. Oh, that's going to be good next turn. I like going Malcolm Crack Clue here. That seems good. And the next turn we can play Paragon and get back any of these lands. We'll just hold back. We're not going to win this race. Toxic Deluge for one. Ah, oh, Sir Ginger. Or uh, Ian? Hmm. You don't have reach, right? No? Okay. This guy's dead, right? No? No. Splicer, huh? Uh, uh, kind of want to pitch Splicer here. That's annoying. Go Paragon. The fact that when the permanent goes to the graveyard, you gain two life is pretty sweet. Oh. 
Oh, they did not take it. That's sad. Guardian Scale Lord, however, can get that back. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okie dokie, everything is dying. What we can do is play Scale Lord, put the counter on the true name nemesis. And then attack to get back Sarah Paragon, and then they have to deal with that. That seems insane. Let's play Misty. And we'll just play Retrofitter Foundry. That seems good. That was a value town, right? We, we just played this guy, got this, and got this for free. And now they still have to deal with this again and this guy. Which is going to get, like, both of these guys back. What did they hit? Soulscar Mage? Yeah, that guy doesn't do anything. Oh, they're they're getting a little aggressive. So can't block, sure. I think this is a fine block. If she dies, like, it's not the worst because we're just getting free cards back from Scale Lord. Are they pumping this? For four? That seems not great. I have no idea what's going on, actually. Polygon's command, sure. Kill retrofitter, deal two to her. Grot, grot, great. Grot, 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 great. Yep. All right. So. Thank you. Do we just win here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's just game, right? Oh my god, having to like. Roar, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. And we'll get a Blade Splicer back. Be oh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't get that back. Um, I don't think any of these cards are great. Yeah, we'll just submit. I could see playing Wrath, but like, I think we have a high density of creatures as well. Ah, oh, the old... The old Stoneforge with both equipment, Plains Hand. I will mulligan. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Actually, this is capable due to Ponder. And we have Stoneforge and Thopter Foundry, so... You know what? We can ship Elspeth and call this a Keeper. And then if we hit a Mox... Come on. It's, it's not even going to be close, you know? Do this guy. If there's an out of planes here, we're definitely shuffling. Absolutely incredible. Um, let's go to this guy. You... And then you, no shuffs. And now we can go Stoneforge to get Sword and then play True Name. Uh, 
I'll shuffle away the apparition that we couldn't get anyway. Oh boy. You can kill this if you want. I just got Sword of the Meek. Sure name having a stone forge up is nice because if they have like Shouldred's Edict or Liliana, they can't just make us sacrifice it. You got it. Yeah, this went from a, a mulligan to a pretty decent strategy here. I like that. Just play Thraven, and we'll play Sword here. And I doubt they're going to kill the Sword. It's just not very good to do. We'll just keep True Name back. Um, yeah, we'll just play. I, I, I'm i assuming they have Kolagon's command in hand. But I don't think that matters. Like, what are we going to do? Not play this? Oh, all right. They didn't do it. All right, that seems good. Activate, pay one, sack this guy. They're gonna do it in response. Choose your modes. I mean, I'll definitely sack the clue in response if they do that. Yep, knew they had it. <laughs> Great. And you kill Stoneforge. Oh, it's non-token artifact. Well, I guess we're sacking itself then. Yeah, I mean, we kind of knew they had that. We predicted it. Cathar Commando. Celestial Colonnade. That's my guess. Ledger Shredder. Like, we could loot here and play Cathar Commando, but, like, the only card we have is Time Spiral, and I don't really want to loot it away, so... Do you ever play Commander? Literally never, unfortunately. I'm just not... It's like... It's just a format I've never really gotten into oh this is interesting if we commando here three four five six like we can blank this i think it's worth blanking it with the board position we have this is it right like this would be the second spell yeah let's trigger the leggy be worse than uh yeah that's worse than time spiral Yeah, I think that was worth it, for sure. This only kills Sir Ginger. And I'd much rather have a time spar with the potential... Okay, we just went. <laughs> Great. Let's talk it through. <laughs> Good times. All right. God, another hand with double, double equipment in hand. I don't know if that's... We also can't cast Apparition... 
Yeah, I mean, it's not that I haven't played Commander. I've played Commander a ton. I just don't. It doesn't. It there's too much going on for me in Commander. Like I have a hard time keeping track of everything that everyone is doing, and I also don't like that my. Uh, I feel like my decisions are not as meaningful or impactful. That's usually my my feeling on Commander when I play. Uh, I think this is still keepable. Uh, I don't have the rat debt. Michael B. does, okay? So please get our finances straight. I mean, one more card, we get to Sword of the Meat combo, so that's not bad. I think we hold this, and then on turn th three, we can go Sword into Spear. Oh, I like that. That's a cook cook combo. Let's pitch Sword of the Meek because that just that's just free real estate. Next turn we can go Hull Breacher and Shadow Spear to trigger it again. Mm, okay. Do you want to play Hull Breacher at instant speed at sorcery speed? Not really. Urza, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, give me that. Well, I definitely want another planes. Hmm. Probably just pitching island here. Give me all the loots. I don't like just Genesis engineering here. Oh boy. Okay. Well, they have two cards in hand. They're going to play Golos? That's my guess. Memory Jar. Um, Pitch Planes here, sure. You got it. Okay, so now we're just locked into keeping up Hull Breacher, I'm, I'm sure. Bring this back, sure. Play this guy and just pass, I think. Oh God, really? Uh, yep. <sighs> mm. 
Never fails. But that did lock them out of quite a bit of mana for their... Uh, let's pitch. Doesn't really matter, honestly, because we're just going to lose all these cards anyway. However, we can get back Thopter Foundry with the Guardian Scale Lord that's in our hand. Which is not nothing. And they also go down to like two cards, I guess. One card? Hmm. Interesting that they're just drawing cards with memory jar. I don't. <laughs> All right. I mean, sure. Very curious what the end game is here. We got like yeah, three mana left. One, two, three. Today, Junior. All right, Sailly. So it looks like we're done here. All right, great. Sure. I have one card in hand. I accept. So we can play Scale Lord, put a counter on you. What do we get back? True name Nemesis? That seems strong. Thopter Foundry also seems good. We could also, I'm, I'm pretty sure we could hit a land here. So let's hit a land. Huh? Yes. Beautiful. I also just kind of like keeping Malcolm up and exiling the Urza. Yeah, pitch a shadow spear. <sighs> so, Guardian Scale Lord, counter on this guy, attack Sahili, get back True Name. That seems pretty good. I also just want to get rid of Urza, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to get rid of this guy as well. I don't think we have a great way to do that, though. Thank you. But we do have a ton of blockers. I think with one card in hand, getting rid of this Urza feels pretty good. Oh, what up, Chorwit? Thank you for the resub, my dude. Attack. 
attack Sahili. Let's play you, we'll loot. Uh, I think it's easy Blade Splicer here just because we have a lot of pressure on the board here. So now they can't copy an artifact. They also can't activate Urza, so we're kind of... They get to sack two artifacts to draw a card, which feels kind of... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Two to the face. No blocks. Really? <sighs> had a feeling. I had a feeling. And I was like, you know what? I don't think they have it. Time Spiral and Lauren. <laughs> wow. Why did I, I just... It doesn't matter. Whichever one I didn't block, they just they just do it with, right? So, like, it's just not productive to block here. They just kill Churikai Genesis Engine. Fantastic. And then they get to tap both the lands and play a Time Spiral. And they're playing it... Might as well get the counter, since we're Time Spiraling here. Wow. That's phenomenal. Look, Hull Breacher... Oh, Lord. You gotta love it when your, your cards are stronger for your opponent than they are for you. <sighs> nothing but, nothing but good times. Yep, Forensic Gadgeteer, which is basically just Psy number two. Candelabra. Pretty sure that's game. They just had to hit Time Spiral off of that. Couldn't have hit like land, land. Like we drew, we literally drew two lands off of our Genesis engine. We drew two planes. But when our opponent hits the top two cards, it's Time Spiral and Lauren. Fantastic. <sighs> Felt like I was in great shape until then. I might actually hate this game. I'm not positive. It's very possible though. I definitely wouldn't call wearing sweats slacker mode. I don't think there's an association between being a slacker and wanting to be comfortable. Like, I definitely have never... Like, when I'm at home, I'm just never wearing, like, real pants. Like, I'm wearing like, gym shorts or, like, sleep pants or something. Normalize being comfortable and not considering it uh, derogatory. <laughs> Wrath of God, that would be amazing. Winds of Abandon actually would be phenomenal. Both those cards are in the sideboard. Yep. Unfortunately, my hand's not even that good. We got the Scale Lord back, which is nice, because now there's absolutely nothing in the graveyard. Hmm. Just exhausting, dude. They have one black source, and they played... <laughs> oh, I guess they have... I guess they have Talisman. And they, and they got to play Fallen Shinobi off of it. Like, just... Fucking unreal. I have a black source. Maybe I should just be playing Fallen Shinobi. Hmm, boy. 
right. And of course, they actually had to have cryptic command uh, for when we played Hull Breacher, so that was fun. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, they just have everything, right? It's just like every time they need something, it's there it is. Great. Sure. I guess we're getting rid of apparition. Or planes. I guess planes is probably correct. Like we have a, a clue token. We have a card that's drawing us. We have a ledger shredder. I'm supposed to keep up the illusion of being upstanding. That's literally what I'm saying, though. There's nothing not upstanding about being comfortable. It's not a, it's not a, like, it's not a disease. It's not like leprosy, man. Just wear your, wear your sweats and normalize being comfortable as not uh, a demerit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't, like, we need to, like, like, it just, just, let's just adjust our society so that we don't fucking, like, keep, harping on people who just choose to be comfortable instead of wearing rigid like khakis and and button downs like just because you don't want to wear that shit like that's a norm that's normal that should be normal Yeah, it's just another... Oh, they're just gonna... Oh, they didn't counter that. I guess they had Cryptic Command. I, I'm, I'm getting uh, flashbacks to the Mana Drain that we encountered in a previous round. Sure. This is where they go land Mox. And then they go Fallen Shinobi. Oh yeah, give me that. Pitch sword. Looks like everybody's got a combo. Combones connected to the neck bone. Neck bones connected to the combone. These are the Let's get rid of this guy. So then that is normal. Then why don't then then you're the then you're the only one I was gonna say you're the problem. You're the only one making it seem like it's like some kind of crime. Hey, listen, buddy. Shua Garner, be comfortable and accept. What? Wait, was that I guess I just win? Was that game three? I thought that was round two. Was that round three? It had to be round. Game two. Game two? Is that game two? What? Either way. I'll take it, I guess. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.